This week we're in Southern California, and this is the Encanto 18 stair rail. This is the Encanto 18 stair rail. Nice. Definitely some crazy tricks have been done on this one. Uh, I think the first person to grind it was Slash. I remember seeing him 50-50 in Death Wish video, maybe? Carlos Mendoza 50-50 did as well. Oh, really? Yeah. I know Dakota did lip slide. Tell me that you like her. I think that was in the WTF video. But yeah, unlike some of the other spot history videos we've done, this one is still skatable today. So if you want to get an NBD on this, now's the time. But for some reason, they got the curb up here that's all skate stopped. <laughs> like, oh darn, I was going to warm up on that. Uh, let's see, Dane Berman, he 5 0 it, and he actually looks up and points at the camera as he does it. It's pretty cool. Hello, man. How are you doing? Chilling. We're doing a video on the Encanto 18 stair. I was like the 5-0 Dane did on it, just cause he did it so damn easy. And it was just like so casual. And I'm like, fucking 5 0 rails to me is insane. Just, or at least front side. I'm in awe of his rail skating in general, but just seeing that clip, I always, you know, it just sticks out in my mind. That was his going pro ad for Zero. Like what, 10 or 11 years ago or something? I think the same day he nose grinded it because I was in Cold War. That's a long nose grind. Like Dane's nose grind. I was there when he did that, that whole day with Dane. He originally was trying to nose blunt and like he wasn't really getting that close and then he did a 5 0 and then nose grinded it in like three tries and fucking it was sick. And then Nyjah also 5 0 it for one of his Send It Saturdays or something. But yeah, he did kick flip, kick flip, and then front 5 0 down it. You've skated this rail before? Uh, yeah, I feebled it like 10 years ago. <laughs> Nick Molino did it first though, I'll be honest about that. I also board slid it a few years back as well. And then I tried to nollie board slide it, but I couldn't get myself to stay on top of it. Dang. Kept just jumping over and running down in the dirt. Skyler King also feebled it. Nice. Alex Wilms also feebled it with that grab, like the seatbelt grab, with like the front hand grabbing towards the tail. Yeah. Is that what that uh, grab would be called? I think so. I've never done one. Yeah. <laughs> that, I mean, I've never seen anyone do that while feebling a rail. Yeah, That's I think insane. I think Cole Wilson did one on really? like an out and down rail. But yeah, that's a one you don't see too often. Definitely not. Alex Wilms, besides that people, he also did front board. It's a long front board. Brendan did back 5-0 down this rail. And he also did crook in the same part. <laughs> and speaking of crook, Jamie Tansoni tried to crook this rail and took a really gnarly slam where he wrapped himself around this bottom pole, which is apparently broken too right now. <laughs> I don't think it was from his slam, but <laughs> man, this thing's loose. I think of Tansoni's slam on it because I was there that day. 
He tried to crook it and got smoked. Dude, it was fucking hectic. Yeah, he got a haul of meat for it, right? Yeah, that was that was a haul of meat. That was a gnarly one too. Definitely a lot of slams have gone down on this. Oh yeah. All right, one of my favorites, Tommy, one side fakey. That is a long one side and he battled that one. You did blunt slide. Can you tell us the story about that? I don't know what point I was at for filming, but I'm positive it was for Cold War. And I'm assuming it was getting toward deadline time because I don't know that I was just out there throwing that out for whatever reason, you know? I don't know. I just kind of was like, I think I could do it. I'll, I'll give it a couple tries. And, and if anything, I can jump into the hill and it's kind of like a, a safe escape, you know? The day I was trying it and the day I did it, I was getting smoked. So I was fully committed the day I was trying it, you know? Yeah, it looked like a battle. How many tries do you think it took, if you remember? Probably a good, like, 20 tries to get comfortable to really commit to staying on the inside. If you're tapping the rail with a blunt slide, you can jump over and, and not really have your weight or pressure on the inside, which I feel is what you need if you're gonna take that trick all the way down. I think after a while of tinkering with the blunt slide, like jumping into the hill and stuff, that I got comfortable enough to just hold one and, and take it down as far as I could. I'm pretty sure by the time I was actually trying it and then you know, really set my mind that like, all right, I can do this. It was probably like another 15 to 20 tries. So I'd, I'd probably say like 30 to 40 jumps down that thing, like being generous, you know? Wow. Yeah. Ah. Did any of the slams like set you back too far or it was all one session, right? All the way through? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I sacked it, I think three times that day and like, I, I don't know. That's the most I've ever sacked any rail in my life. Yeah, it wasn't wasn't fun at all by any means. None of them were like really that safe, I guess you could say. There's one that I like hit and kind of fall off to the side and like go into the hill. And that one didn't hurt as bad. Another one I fully sacked and like hit my face and then slide down the rail and get wrapped around at the bottom. That one smoked me and like, I fucking thought my balls were bleeding or something and it was real bad dude i think i took a good like 10 minute break and and was just kind of rolling up again and, and getting it back in back in my mind i'm like all right dude i'm just i'm here and i need to get it done now and uh i think i had a time limit too because uh i had to go pick up my daughter from school so i was like all right i just want to get this handled and get it over with so that way i can like enjoy the rest of my day that's so sick but you made it happen. And I was on time to pick up my daughter too, so. Yes. Good news all across the board. Do you remember if you did anything else to warm up or did you just start going into the blunt slide? Yeah, I, I probably tried to board slide it and just jumped off or something, but yeah, I don't I don't really think there was a good warm up for that other than just, like I was saying, trying it and then jumping into the hill. That was probably the, the safest way to go about it. And then from there, just like, get your balls up and commit. Uh, was anyone else skating with you that day or just you? Uh, I'm pretty sure that was a solo mesh. Maybe at that time, I didn't really have as many people that I could hit up and be like, hey, you wanna go skate this 18 row with me? You gotta be like, eh, I don't know. I'll come and watch. Like, <laughs> I'm like, all right, cool. So. so also you have these three five stairs in a row so you can get some nice momentum going before you hit the rail if you want. Figgy actually did a line where he tray flip the last five and then Smith tail grab. Pretty cool. And then he also did Smith to 5 0. He did one more trick. He did Nolly 50 50. I'm pretty sure he's the only one to Nolly into this. That's a tall Nolly 50. Biggie with a Nolly 50, I like that one. Jesus. Oh yeah, you know what? That's funny that you mentioned that because uh, 
that was one of the reasons I was trying the blunt slide in the first place. Not because Figgy uh, nolly grinded it, but because right around that time, like I was watching Figgy's parts and he was just like going full 100% fucking balls to the wall. Everything was fucking just gnarly. So I was like, dude, like I need some of that juice. I just want to fucking, I don't care if I slam, like I just need that feeling. And like, for some reason, like that day I was like tapped in. I was like, all right, dude, I'm on my Figgy shit today. Like, <laughs> Like, I'm That's down awesome. to slam. Oh, and then Nigel also did switch 50 50. Switch 50, first tee. I think it was first shot when I did it. Wow. I'm pretty sure. I'm so fried, I can't even remember shit like that. Colby Raha, did it on the goddamn dirt bike. It looks like on both sides of these rails, there's like a crack in them. Yeah, this one's not as bad as that side. I have been here before and these are like bondoed, but bondo doesn't last forever. Oh, you can see in this one, it's still got a little bit of bondo. This one is sketchy right now. Wow. But I mean, when you're going that fast, you kind of just go right through. So Ed Duff from Feeble Day. And then he tried to do another one after he already landed it to maybe get a better, a uh, little cleaner roll away. And ooh, did not end well after that. You did front feeble. Did you go there planning it or were you just there and thought you'd throw one down? I skated it prior, I Smith grinded it. After doing that, I had thought that I'd want to maybe do like a 5-0 or a front feeble. I was doing a lot of those at that point. I tried the front feeble one time and I like slipped off and kind of hurt myself. And then after that, I like tore my meniscus on a zero trip and then I was hurt for like six months. So like that whole time, I was just like thinking about doing it because I tried it that one time. And then once I was healed from that injury, I went back I did it and it was, it was, it was hard for sure. There's a gnarly slam flip too. Do you uh, slammed first or what? No, I did the front feeble that was used in the zero video, but I thought that like, it like might not have been up to snuff per se. I was like all hyped up. So I was like, all right, right here. And it was that next go. I like really tried to sit into it and like, the rail has these little pieces of it that like aren't in there kind of. I remember the first time we went there, David Ray has like bondoed the rail so you could like grind it. And then my truck got caught in one of those kind of and that like shot me back. I like walked away fine and I was just like, well, I'm done now. So, but it was sick because it was like two clips that came out of it, so. Yeah, I mean, sometimes a slam is just as good as a make as far as clips go. Yeah, exactly. So do you remember how many tries that took? I was kind of just like poking around and just like, I remember I probably Smith grinded it and I really wanted to grind it because I never grinded a rail that big. I grinded it, I 50 50 it toe side and landed it and it was like the scariest grind of my life. <laughs> the footage got deleted, I'm bummed on that, but I don't know, I like, uh, it probably took me like at least probably an hour, but I'll like get scared and take roll ups and stuff, but. Yeah, I was just trying to like front feeble jump in the grass and just work my way down further and further. And then that one just kind of worked. Yeah, maybe he should have kept that first one, but we do love a good gnarly slam, don't we? Alec Majerus did back Smith. <laughs> Kristen Jordan did barley grind. That's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, that's one of the craziest tricks by one of the youngest dudes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and then recently, Tommy also nose slid it. Uh, the footage isn't out yet, but there's an ad of it in one of the thrashers. I've seen the footage, it's dope. That one was interesting because I didn't even go there to skate that. Um, I was going there to watch Reggie skate it, and I had just got done getting uh, a clip at another spot, like down the street, and 
I went home in between spots and like smoked a little herb and grabbed a little like mushrooms or whatever and kind of just like was like okay I'm, I'm gonna go this way with it and kind of chill and like I got my clip for the day type of thing I get to the spot and um, Reggie's already jumping at the rail and there's a couple people at the bottom like skating a, a flat bar off to the side for whatever reason I'm over here no sliding the flat bar and just next thing you know fucking I, I'm pretty sure it was uh, Derm he like called it out he's like hey you should no slide the rail and i'm like how the fuck does that make sense i'm skating a fucking like five foot flat bar and you just told me to no slide this like 20 foot long 18 stair rail like all right dude whatever and i don't know for some reason i got convinced i got up there i started looking at it scoping it out and then same thing i did with the blunt slide i think it was a little bit harder with the no slide because you just basically have to do like overturn no slides so it almost turns into a nose blunt. I did that a bunch and jumped into the hill until finally like I just got comfortable and took one on the inside. And then again, it was it was a little bit of a battle, but I didn't sack it on that one. And I think I only got smoked once or twice and got it done in one session. So, so Ed Duff also tried to nose blunt this and I heard he almost did it, and then he unfortunately broke his leg on, I think, this stump right here, or this root. Yeah, dude, that thing still haunts me to this day. I did it in front of people, and then like was doing a lot of nose months at that time, and wanted to get like a BC one. We were near there because Dane wanted to do some gnarly trick. Just trying to kickflip the roof to rack tray all I didn't do in like uh, the promo video. But that didn't work out, it was across the street from there. And I told him I'd want to try the nose blunt, so we went there. It was funny, because that was like right when Instagram video came out. So like, I told Dane I was like gonna film like a Instagram firing line. And like, he filmed me do like a kickflip down the floor and then Smith grind the 18. Eddie Duff, boom. That was like the warm up, and then I tried to nose on it, and like it was sick. There's like a bunch of homies there, a lot of homies love that. I, I like landed one, and like did a baseball slide out, and like the next go went and like folded my ankle in half, and I was done. I like tore all the ligaments on my ankle, and no then way. yeah, it was like right before zero trip too, so wasn't able to go on the trip. Was out for like six months. Where did that footage end up going? Just nowhere? Yeah, no, I have, I, I don't have the slam. I have the one of me almost doing it. I like, haven't put it out yet because I might like put it out in a part that I like to put out in the future. There's like a little part of me that still wants to fucking try that shit because that would be awesome. Yeah, dude. But yeah, no, that footage isn't out the nose bunt almost, but. Go back for it. That'd be insane. Even though Ed Duff didn't make it, there was a nose blunt that he had tried and i saw clips of him getting really really close and i was like fuck dude that would have been epic the front feeble he did super gnarly yeah the clip it was like the one that i always do dude it's like i do like the james thomas like controlled power slide so yeah maybe i'll just use that yeah, yeah. the spot has good run up and roll away pretty smooth it's like not too steep and not too mellow it's like right in the middle why hasn't anyone ever ollied it <laughs> I mean, it's possible. It's a far one. Steps are long. I really want to see someone ollie this. <laughs> That'd be insane. You'd probably want to like put some wood down on the, the fives, then you just have a big ramp to, to it. It's definitely possible. It's possible for sure, but that is far. Why is Trey the Tank not come here and 50-50 it? He probably has. <laughs> I, I think he has. Really? You think Trey the Tank hit this spot too? Probably, you need to go check. All right, I'll check. Go scroll through his Instagram. And then, the most insane trick, Adam Runsky, 50 50 up the rail. Wow. With a little bit of help from his friends. <laughs> oh yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's fine, oh, yeah. Come on. Oh, buttery. Oh.
you got some good friends to want to push you up this thing. Yeah. I ended up there at the end of uh, a King of the Road. I was like a guest on like Toy Machine crew or whatever, and they ended the day there, and I watched like Dan Liu grind it super easy. You might as well get a pen, check that off. Lots of Bondo here currently. All the cracks are nice and bondoed. So it's ready to go. Should I skate it, Dustin? Yeah, you should. Oh man. Oh my God, death spike. I'm sure it's been done because it's been back 5 0 but, but back 50 was not on the list from today. Kanan will add it right now. Kanan also has brand new trucks on right now, so they are not broken in. He skated them twice. They have no grooves, so let's see how this goes. Oh, he's sending it. That'll get your legs going. Send it Saturday. You're doing it right here. Oh my god. Gnarly. I was just trying to feel it out and I got on toe side. <laughs> I guess that's what happens when you try and skate an 18 rail with new trucks on. <laughs> you got it though. Alright, I should probably just go for it because that's stupid. <laughs> yeah, that looked crazy. <laughs> it looked like you head planted into the ground. This is the first spot we came to today. I was just trying to feel it out. Yeah, just like the Encinitas sign with Dalton. Yeah. First spot of the day and he had to go for it. I guess this is my payback. <laughs> yeah, put that back on your head. <laughs> At least that time I I got in, I locked in. You did? Instantly jumped out, but right when you get on, you start going so fast, so. You got it. I think I'm just gonna do this one. We take a shower after this spot. Yes! Why did I do this to myself? I can't just you got it. You keep locking in and just going into the dirt. Just lock in and commit to going down it. It's because this rock was here. I didn't want to roll this far and then... That makes a lot of sense. You got it now. Right here. All right, right here. You land this next try, I'm buying you Chipotle. Oh, really? Yes. Get it. You are going to do this one. Right, right here. Yeah! Guys, so much easier when you just go for it. <laughs> Why do I just like mess around and not do it? Oh man, you got your pull leg. Yeah, that was like so scary because I have like two day old trucks on. <laughs> so I don't have any grooves. And it was throwing me off because like that first try I got in the toe side and I, I rarely ever do that. That was a nice one. All right, thanks for right. giving me to do that. Uh, let's go to Chipotle. Yeah. All right, that's our video on the Encanto 18 stair rail. Uh, if there's any tricks we missed, let us know in the comments below. And if you haven't already, subscribe. We post videos every Wednesday. So we'll see you guys next Wednesday. All right, Dern Bros. All right.